Hello there, today is 1860 and I'm going to continue work with the Legions Imperialis Imperial Fists. After last week all I've got left to do is the little dude, so I'll be doing a couple of those um, units today. I'll be doing the Assault Marines and the uh, Missile Launchers. First thing I'll do is I'll continue to paint the black on the remaining Assault Marines. I only need to do four of these guys so it's not going to take too long, but they are kind of fiddly and I do want to make sure I get everything uh, proper, so I'll be taking a lot of time and care over it. After that, I'll use some dryad bark to paint the little gun holsters, and then I'll start adding the silver detail on things like the guns, the magazine cases, the blades of the chain swords, and uh, the little exhaust ports for the jump packs. After that, I'll be a quick highlight with Eshin Gray, just to uh, get the highlights on their jump packs. The assault marines finished, I will then move on to the missile launchers, um, again, I only have a few of these left to do because I've painted most of the black on the other uh, on the other sprue. Um, so I'll start with the black again. Then after some dried bark, I went straight into the silver and painted the backpacks. Add a tiny bit on the uh, on the weapon just so some details stand out. Followed by a quick highlight with the uh, with the grey again. I also picked out a couple of details on the sergeant for both the um, missile launchers and the assault marines. With the sar one of the sergeants, it was just a plasma pistol that I highlighted, and um, on the missile launcher, it was kind of like a red on his helmet. From there, it's just a matter of doing their bases. I'll start by painting um, all the bases a Dawnstone grey. And while both layers uh, of the grey dries, I'll start snipping off um, the little dudes off their, off their sprues, getting as close to the base of them as possible so as less uh, to clean up. With the Dawnstone dry, I'm going to give the bases a quick dry brush of the light grey, and then I'll paint the rims of the bases with a nice black. Then it's on to gluing the little dudes to their bases. Now there's five models per base, um, so I'll use a tiny bit of super glue on the bottom of their uh, base and glue it onto the main base. And finally, to tie everything together, I'm going to give the base a once over with an Agrax Earthshade. I'll put a couple of blobs on there and then I'll water it down and mix it all over just to uh, just to blend it all in. And that's today done. It's hard to believe these little dudes actually take uh, as long as they do, but they do take quite a while because they are obviously time consuming. But that's four more bases down and I'll do more tomorrow. Today is 1861 and I'm going to continue work on the Legion Imperialis and I'm hopefully going to get these guys uh, finished today. As with the rest of the models, it's a case of painting the black first, then the silver, then some gold added to the tips of the banners and some of the uh, like captains and things, and a little splash of red where appropriate. And believe it or not, that actually took the full two hours um, that I have a lot of today, but we did get them all painted, and tomorrow I will start work on their bases. Today is 1862 and I'm going to get these little dudes based. I'm also going to add the transfers to the vehicles and the banners as well. First thing I'm going to do is the transfers. Now there's a step-by-step -step guide on my channel on how I do transfers, so I won't cover it here. Um, it won't take very long. Most of them are, are really small, so this will be about a five, ten minute job. With the transfers out of the way, it's time to begin basing. Um, what I'll do is I'll give everything a couple of coats of Dawnstone to make sure I've got a nice flat color. And once that's dry, I'll then pick out any of the uh, small, tiny little metallic details on the base. While the first coat of the uh, base was drying, um, I went to the models and because I forgot to do it yesterday, I'm going to paint the tiny little sort of connecting points. They have um, a grey as well, so they blend in with the base. Then it's just a case of snipping them off their sprues. Using some blue tack on the end of some old paintbrushes, I then went around and did the rim of all the bases. And once the rim was dry, I then placed the little dudes in position. Finally, to tie everything together, I went and added some Agrax assay to the base with a touch of water as well, just to blend it in and, uh, and lessen the impact of the Agrax shade as well. And there we are, that's the rest of the Space Marine infantry all complete. And with that, I'm finished with my small Imperial fists. Um, I can't wait to crack into the solar auxiliary tomorrow. Today is 1863 and I'm going to start work on the solar auxiliary for Legion's Imperialis. 
After having a bit of a think, um, I decided to go with um, a greyish blue sort of colour. So I'm painting um, everything in the Fang, uh, a colour from Citadel Paints. I'm going to give that a once over. And once that's done, I'll then give everything a wash in Narn Oil. And then after that, I'm going to give everything a nice dry brush with Rust Grey. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have much time to do anything else today. Um, the wash took a very long time to dry because of the temperature in the flat. But tomorrow it's basically going to be metal work and everything like that. So hopefully I'll get all these guys um, finished. Sadly, didn't have much time today because of that wash. But I am happy with the progress so far. And tomorrow I will start work on the metal. Today is 1864 and I'm going to continue with the uh, Imperialis stuff. First thing I decided to do was add some brass colour. Um, originally I was going to paint the whole thing like a, like a, 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 a silver, um, but I think that's going to be a bit too much. So I thought I'd do some brass here and there just to make the model pop a little bit more. After that I then went ahead and started adding silver in certain areas. Uh, on the trims and sort of metallic parts and th things that I thought would stand out on the model. And then went straight in and started to add some black on the tips of the weapons. After that, I then added a wash of Null Oil to the silver and then Agrax Earthshade to the brass just to give everything a little depth. I won't be able to do any more today, but tomorrow I'll go in and highlight with a little bit of a light silver just to make everything pop. Why do I keep saying pop? Annoyingly, I couldn't get all the tanks finished today. Um, the Lehman Russes will have to be done or finished off tomorrow. I really ran out of time. Um, they are small, but they are time consuming. So we're two down, they're mostly complete. They just need a little highlight and the Lehman Russes will get done tomorrow. And I'll hopefully, I should be able to get some of those Sentinels done. Today is 1865 and I would get the, uh, the Lehman Russes um, mostly finished today. I don't have a lot of time at all, so I'm basically going to start with the silver. Then I'm going to be adding some black to the tips of the barrels and things like the bolt gun, uh, bolt heavy bolters, sorry, or any uh, wires that I find. I'm... Then I'm going to paint the little dude on top. Um, I've looked at a lot of pictures, um, and it seems to be mostly grey and silver with a little bit of black. So I want to paint his hand black. I'm going to paint um, his body armour. Uh, sorry, his, his flight suit or bodysuit grey and then I'm going to paint the rest of him silver. Then finally, all the silver is going to get a wash of non-oil and sadly that will be all I have time for uh, today. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Um, I still need to like highlight the metal bits on both these tanks and the others but I'll have to do that tomorrow when I continue with the set ones. Also a package from Element Game arrived today. Uh, I got some bases for um, my ghost busting orcs, the flesh busters. Um, I got some brand new clippers because mine are absolutely ruined. I got myself uh, a, a, a large oval base for Orcto 1. Um, I also picked up um, the Primaris version of uh, Lionel Johnson um, uh, because I absolutely love him and I love my Dark Angels and I really need to get those guys. And I also picked up two paints to uh, for a future project. Today is 1,866. I'm going to finish off the tanks uh, by adding a couple of highlights and I'll be continuing work with the Sentinels and I'll be starting the uh, the Ogrons as well. Ignore that miniature, that's for next week. Um, so hopefully I can get a lot today, but I've only got about an hour. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the black areas on the tanks that I painted yesterday. I'm using a very dark grey, so the highlight is nice and subtle. From there, we'll use some nice light silver just to pick out some uh, some corners and things and, and edge highlights on the uh, silver, obviously. And with that out of the way, I'm then going to um, do all the brass parts on the Sentinels, which will be followed up by a wash of Agrax Earthshade. And while that's drying, I will start the Ogrins. Uh, I'm gonna be using Mechanica Standard Grey to do their cloth. That's all I'm gonna be able to do today, uh, unfortunately, with the Ogrins. And I've only got enough time to do the silver on one sentinel, which is absolutely infuriating. But, you know, sometimes you can't do as much as you'd like. So there we are. I didn't get anywhere near done as much as I wanted. But at least the sentinel, or one of the sentinels, is mostly finished. And the rest aren't going to take long at all. And I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do with the operant as well. This week has gone pretty well. I finished off the Imperial Fists and the, uh, the Solar Auxilera. Um, most of that is uh, well underway. The Ogrins and the Sentinels will get finished tomorrow and I'll start work on the infantry. That is a time consuming piece though. But overall, I'm pretty 
happy. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.